James, obviously it's lovely to speak to you today, part of Ross's interim setup and a, a big cog in that machine. How's, how's that experience been for you? No, it's been brilliant. I've loved every minute of it and obviously thankful to, to the club and Ross for giving me the, the opportunity to help him out. And um, as we said, sat Saturday was brilliant and, and the boys have really bought into to what we want to do and what we want to deliver in terms of our, our culture and, and our playing philosophy. So it, it's been a fantastic experience and um, fingers crossed on Tuesday night, we could, on Wednesday night, sorry, we can we can deliver um, another positive performance. Uh, obviously, um, you know, last time we spoke to you, um, it was a, it was just after the last round where we where we beat Andover. So it's all about keeping that success successful cup run going, isn't it? Yeah, hundred percent. I think all um, all teams, all clubs want to have a successful cup run. I think it one it, it it's good it's good for the fans and it, but it's also good for the boys to have that that kind of morale and that and and the excitement of of the potential to play at Fratton Park, etc. So um, it's always good to to do our best as we can and. and and again, mine and Ross's philosophy is, is we want to do best in every competition that we're in. So um, the Hampshire Cup is definitely one that we want to continue in and, 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 and put on a strong performance, as I said, similar to Saturday. Obviously, last time out against Andover in this, in this competition, we saw an academy side with, with Ryan Hole in, in goal, admittedly. But what, what kind of side can we, can we see tomorrow night? Yeah, no, I think uh, the idea that we want to do is, as I said, it's, it's a cup competition that we want to do well in. And, and Sholin are, are doing well in their league, so we want to put out a strong outfit. Um, it will be mostly those that weren't involved at South End. So, your likes of Harrison Paniatu who's coming back from injury, um, Giles Phillips who, who, didn't, who only got on slightly on, on Saturday. So we're going to put out a strong side. Michael Class, uh, Ben Schroll, they're all going to feature as well as the young lads such as Alex McAllister who obviously came on at Wrexham, um, Ben C as well. So it's going to be a strong a strong side because one we want to give them opportunity to to, to be able to to play and, and put on a strong performance ahead of Saturday game away at Gateshead. Um, but also an opportunity for, for those that need top-ups to get top-ups. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to the game and we're looking forward to, to putting on a performance at the EVB. Obviously, yeah, like you say, it's, it's a great opportunity for some of those young players. Like you said, Alex has, has now come on against Wrexham, had that debut for him. And, and Ben obviously scored a hat-trick in the last round, didn't he? So it's, it's a real good opportunity for them to showcase their talents. No, I think that's, that's the key. Is we, we, we've obviously, myself and Ross, have come through the academy. We know the pool of, of players we've got. So there will be some 23s that um, will step up and, and feature. So it's... It's, it's again, it's an opportunity for them to, to prove their point and prove that um, when they're on the bench for the first team, as has, has been the case with Maka and, and, and Ben, that they're, they're worthy of, of, of that shirt and worthy of that position and, and could come on and affect it. So, um, yeah, like you said, it's, it's a great opportunity for them. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.